Welcome to Small Business Stories. I am Mike Downauer from the Monroe Chamber. This is Quentin Durr from Louisiana Catalyst. How are y'all doing today? And we've got Desmond Lighten. He's got Fit for Life, Lighten Up, Herbalife, you name it, this guy's got it. I happen to know a lot about this guy, but Desmond Lighten, welcome. And, and, got, and if you're the IRS, I don't have any of that. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys, man? It's, it's, uh, it's good to be here with you. Uh, I, can, I can talk a lot about this guy. He's my broadcast partner on Friday nights, football, uh, All-American at McNeese State. That's Lake Charles. You know, you got, got that Lake Charles factor. But he came back home, yeah. and he played Canadian Football League. So okay. uh, played, I played, played little, it. I played a little something, a little razzle-dazzle back in my day. Where it's a little bit colder than it is down here. But uh, anyway. A lot colder. You can't buy a jacket here that works in Canada. I probably. understand that. So, mm-hmm. All right, Des, talk to us a little bit. Talk to us about, um, first of all, here. What about why Monroe? Were you born and raised here? I'm born and raised here, as you know, played for Washita, uh, two-way starter for the Lions. Yes, I got to hear your voice and do, <laughs> do the broadcasting show with you, man. Uh, I'm super grateful for you, by the way. Right. Uh, now I'm doing high school football, ESPN broadcasting. That's what I moonlight. I do a little ESPN commentary as well, nice. thanks to Mike nice. letting me call the football uh, football games. But also, you know, I played college football, played professionally in CFL. And why here, man? This is home. That's right. So, uh, you know, after football was over and I got exposed to this, uh, the Herbalife opportunity, I actually went to Arkansas for a little bit and I, I had to have surgery on my hand. That's why I stopped playing. And I was up there and I was building my business, building my customer base. And I just felt this like feeling like I should be at home because I would come here on the weekend to go to a football game and I would bring like a bunch of Herbalife products with me. I, I would stack my trunk and like, all right, I got to get some customers while I'm here. And I would, Empty the trunk. Sell out the trunk. Yeah. Out the back. Yeah. yeah. And then go back. Yeah, I know. I was parking lot pimping. <laughs> yeah, right. And then I would go back to Arkansas. And then I was like, man, I got to come back home. And, right. I, you know, I want to build my community. And I went to an Herbalife event and I heard, I saw this family. And it was like a mom, a son, and a grandma. And they all lived in the same town. They were building their community. And they were doing, like, these workouts and stuff. And I was like, I want to build that at home. And I moved back home. And that was in 2013. Nice. Been here ever since. And you chose to form. Tell it exactly what it is, what kind of what your places are. I know it's about nutrition, but yeah. explain in detail. So Herbalife is the world's largest nutrition company. So I'm an Herbalife distributor. Basically, it's like I have an Herbalife franchise. They've been around for 40 plus years. They're in over 90 countries. They're like Apple, but for nutrition. A lot of people know about the teas, but that's only one one aspect, one arena. It's a nutrition company. And I got ex- exposed to it through a uh, girl I was talking to in college. Now, my wife, uh, Ted Tverkovich, Ted Light, now she was going playing tennis and I was playing football. She went on to get her MBA and needed a little extra income mm. in college. She's foreign, can't get a job off campus. But a friend of hers said, Hey, this, this company, you can sell their products and make extra money and you don't need a green card. So she calls me excited. I'm in Canada, like, Hey, I got this company. I'm going to start selling these shakes and these supplements and you're going to buy some stuff. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, I didn't want to hear anything about it. <laughs> right. But she was so excited that I was like, all right, whatever. I bought some stuff. So she shut up about it. And then I ended up getting cut. This is when I was in Canada. And so when she had found like her passion in, in Herbalife, I had had my passion taken away. And I was like, I don't know what I moved back home. Didn't have a plan. I had a college degree. I couldn't really find a job that I felt would pay me what I was worth right because you know i was making i wasn't making nfl money but i was making some good income so it was hard for me to go get a job yeah meanwhile i've got tay in my ear talking about herbal life so i'm like all right i'm gonna use this stuff because i didn't paid for it i got great results man i ended up seeing my abs for the first time i lost like 40 pounds and i was living at home so i made my mom drink these nasty shakes they were not good back then right but i was making them for me my mom ended up losing like 70 pounds Wow. And that's how I kind of got introduced to the business because all of her friends was like, whatever this stuff is, we want, want some it. of it. And that's how I started. And that was in 2013. And I went to an event and I saw like this was a legitimate company and I saw all the stuff I was just telling you about. And I was like, all right, football didn't work out. Right. But this could be my opportunity to, to add value to my community and build a business and have financial security for me and my family. And I'm going to make it work. Right. And, I, and I came home like I had lost my mind. Like my mom thought I had joined the cult. <laughs> and we built the business, man. We we didn't have a plan, but we built the business. And thank God the products worked. So people got results and it just kind of grew from there. Right. And I can rant on about it forever, but it was a couple of phases. That was before we had clubs. Uh, we were just like strictly like guerrilla marketing. We were doing fit camps. We would go to ULM and do free workouts and then make some shakes and teas afterwards. And I wanted a family business. Well, my family's not going to do that. They're not going to go do guerrilla marketing and all this work from home. 
But uh, I, 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 Herbalife has these regional trainings and they have a structure where they would teach you different best practices. And I made a relationship with a guy who's a second generation distributor. He's in Mississippi. He's a guy named Trey Heron. And he opened up his training and he taught me what they were doing with nutrition clubs, which is what a lot of people know about having it shakes and teas. And basically we were like, all right, we're going to, this is going to be what we're going to do to teach our team. Cause I have locations, but I also have built a team of distributors as well. Right. And that was in like 2016 when we opened 2015, we opened our first club. It did not work. <laughs> we did everything wrong. So guys, if you're, if you're watching here, failure is not failure unless you quit. It's just market feedback. So we adjusted. We had to go to another location. And I said, all right, do I really want to stick to this? Like I built a business. We built, I replaced my income in Canada without a physical location in like two years. Right. Right. But I couldn't duplicate that. And then it's like, I'm doing this clubs and it's not working. Do I just want to go back to the old school? And it's like, what's your vision? Your vision is you want to, to build a family business. Well, clubs is what's going to happen. So we figured it out. And that was right. in like 2019. When we started, we got some clear cups. We, we started, we got better at marketing and the products didn't change. They were always good. People just didn't know about it. Right. And then that's when you guys started to see like, like the teas and stuff pop up. Yeah. Little stuff like that, the Facebook stuff. And then my dad opened the club. We had a couple of my distributors went out and opened locations and pandemic happened. It just kind of exploded. And through that process, we, we expanded. I have. I have distributors in New Orleans and Texas and Georgia. My auntie has a club in Georgia and we built the top 1% business in Herbalife and we made Louisiana one of the top markets per capita in the entire country for Herbalife. Like That's beautiful. through That's this awesome. community. And, That's awesome. And what a lot of people don't realize, and I'll let you guys go, is it's so much more than shakes and teas. Like it's become like people changing their lifestyle, losing weight, feeling better, but also community. Like I, we built relationships and friends like when we had my first daughter like there was so much we didn't have to buy much it was so many people that came by the club but it also changed people's financial fee like security from the business opportunity so i'm so grateful for this community and i'm so grateful that i mean able to keep the lights on right what was that one like when you talk about the marketing was there anything specific that you did that was different from the first time well or what kind of worked for you well like well, specific, like, uh, we always did social media, but we we realized that you had to incorporate the people. Like, people don't just want to see products. People want to see people. Right. So we, we like, incentivize our people to come by and post pe- stuff on social media. So we started giving a little discount for checking in. That whole check-in on social media for a discount. That, that that's you. Did it. Okay. And, that, and I didn't come up with it. It was a mentor of mine. Right. Who he's built one of the largest businesses, not just in America, but in the world. You know, you know, it's a ten billion dollar company. Yeah. And he's built one of the largest right out of Mississippi. And he was like, Dad, you gotta start doing the Facebook check-ins. And I'm looking at the money like, what? And I'm like, all right. And the rule in advertising is if it pays for yourself, keep doing it. Right. So it, it definitely paid for itself. So that was that was some of the things. Uh getting clear cups. We had these ugly styrofoam cups that because we, we have meal replacement shakes, it's frozen. You want to keep it cool as long as possible, and the styrofoam does that. But people eat with their eyes, right? So if they can't see it, it's got to look appealing. Exactly. So little, little stuff like that, man, it really helped. We also transitioned from focusing on people. Like I, my thing was, I want to help you get some results, whether it's gain weight, lose weight. I tell people most women want to flatten the stomach, lift the booty. So I can help you with that with a meal plan and a workout. Um, well, we transitioned from solely focusing on that to some people just want a quick, healthy meal. They don't want to be put on a scale. Right. right, right. Like we have to transition. Because if you was coming by Fit for Life, we was going to try to work you out and we was going to try to put you on a scale to the point where it was like, hey, don't go by there. They're going to try to put you on a scale. <laughs> right, right. So, right. so we had to change our motto. And, and it literally became our motto was no weird stuff. Right. We didn't, we used a different S yes, word. Yes, I believe you did. <laughs> yeah. But like when they come in off the street, don't be trying to put them on a scale and get them to get a full program. Just help them walk. We want our goal became, we want people to walk out feeling a little bit better than they did when they walked in. So right. that we do that by giving you a smile, some good energy, giving you some vitamins and minerals, and maybe a meal replacement. 
Right. And if that's the case, then people will come back. And that market was substantially bigger than people that wanted to do all the other stuff. All right. Now, we've watched you take your two stores, one store, turn it into two stores. Yeah. But I also know that you're being asked to speak, I mean, from Los Angeles, Dallas, Atlanta. Talk a little bit about that. How are you being invited to do that out of little old Monroe, Louisiana? And it's obviously your success. Yeah. It's, and it's just not me. It's my team. Like, it's... um. There's only, I tell people like, there's only, there's only so many people I can talk to with my one mouth. And that's the beauty of Herbalife. Like there's, it's, it's network marketing. So I can build a customer base and build a good living just from doing that. But I can leverage time and resources by teaching my dad to do the same thing and then he can build a customer base. And now we've reached double the people and Herbalife does profit sharing. So it's, you know, now I've helped him. He's earning and I will earn some extra money. So they incentivize me to not keep this knowledge to myself. Right. Right. It's all about impacting people. So the way we've been able to be invited is I we built a concept that we could serve a market. And then not only that, it's not what works. What can you teach? And then we I have a team of distributors. I got a frat brother. He reached the top three percent in the company. He was the number one salesman in AT&T in North Houston. And he not lost anymore. 90, he lost he lost like 50 pounds. And I was like, bro. All these people asking them, you can send them to me and I can make the money. I can show you. And then he built this huge team. Like all most of the New Orleans group is all in his organization. And that so from doing that and doing multiple models, Herbalife noticed like, OK, we as we moved our way up, they say, hey, can you come teach people? And I'm like, sure, because it took somebody teaching me when I first started. So when I first went to an event, I saw all different shapes and sizes. I saw black people, white people, Mexicans, Asians. Walking across the stage, living great lives, and they were telling me, hey, you can do it too. So then it hit me one day when we got recognized for hitting the president's team, which is top 1% in the company in the world, um, which I I was like, okay, I felt like that was my goal. I didn't go, I didn't, couldn't play professional football for a long enough time, amount of time, but I'm going to go pro at Herbalife. And I felt like reaching the president's team, that means you have a team that you have built, was like going pro. And when I walked across stage and I shared my story when we did, it hit me like, oh, it's not about me. There's another Desmond, another Ted in the crowd right now that's just looking for an opportunity that my story is going to inspire to go the same way somebody did to me. Because when I went to that event 10 years ago, I saw a young black guy in a a business suit that had just retired his mom and that was living out of his car like eight years before. And I was Mm. like, if he could do it, and he was in California, he was like, he can do it, I can do it. No, and that's... you have. And now right. I get to go and and pay it forward. Right? Somebody reached down to me and the guy that mentored me in Mississippi, I'm not in his organization. He doesn't earn a dime from anything that I do, but he still took the time to let me bring my organization and come to his trainings. So because it's like people that reach that level of leadership understand that if he can help me grow a market in Louisiana, it also impacts his market in Mississippi. Yeah, just the whole brand gen- uh, generation yeah. of it, just yeah. making people more aware about the brand and um, opening opportunities. Add value to the market. And it's the same way, like, you'll notice that in any business, and I've been able to develop relationships with people outside of not just Herbalife, I noticed that high-level business owners, they want to give you the information. Yeah, They want to tell you what's working. You just got to ask. So, like, if you know somebody that's got a successful business, that had, take them out to lunch Right. And I see how can you add value. They want to add value to you. And then it's like it reciprocates. So I love what you guys are doing. I love coming to the chamber and meeting different people because I'm getting I'm, I'm able to potentially add some value on my end. It always comes back tenfold. All right. Talk about your two stores. Talk where are the yeah. two locations and then the products that you sell in there that we're used to seeing when we walk in. All right. So I've got Fit for Life. That's on Ferran. It's across from the old Mo, the Mobiz. It used to be Moore's yep. Gym and across from Council on Aging. That's the first location. That was the first nutrition club in Monroe. And so from that, we've expanded and we have several clubs that are in our, what we call sister clubs. They're in my organization and they serve Herbalife products. Uh, it's like a healthy Starbucks. So our number one products. And we also have Lighten Up. Lighten Up is a location that's, uh, it's in Geneva Plaza. It's on 165 North. So it's kind of close, but believe it or not, it's a different traffic flow. Right. We get two different customer bases right. that come right. through both of those. And it's like I tell people instead of skipping breakfast or going to Starbucks and getting something that's high in sugar, not against Starbucks. Yeah. Instead of getting <laughs> Starbucks tried to have the license and have our products in their store, by the way. Mm-hmm. 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 OK. Hey, you got to be an Herbalife distributor to sell the product, though. But so instead of getting something high in sugar, salt and fat, you can come by and get something that's low in sugar, salt and fat, and high in protein, vitamins, minerals, fiber. That's our shakes. Largest meal replacement producer in the world. We also have protein coffee. 
They have protein snacks. And then we, we have, of course, the loaded teas. A lot of people know about the loaded teas. And basically, that's, that's like a healthy liftoff. It's going to give you a boost. It's got like a, a blend of Herbalife products in it. It's got green tea, black tea, oolong tea, orange pico. That's going to give you your, your up. Right, it's got a little caffeine in it, and it's got a bunch of ginseng guarana, which is called NRG, Nature's Raw Guarana, that helps with focus. Doesn't have a lot of caffeine, but it lifts you up. And then it's got aloe vera, which helps with digestive health. Mm-hmm. And we got collagen. I can go through the list. <laughs> it's a one stop shop for everything your body needs. Everybody knows about the tea. It's my next goal is to really inform people that we're much more than teas. Like there's skincare, outer nutrition, inner post workout recovery. I'm really big with high school football now because they have a third party tested. For banned substances product line for hydration that I'm trying to get on all the sidelines. We partnered with Gramlin. Coach Hugh Jackson is from California, which is Herbalife's headquarters. So he already knew. So we got, instead of them just drinking Powerade, they have CR7 Drive. Well, and I've noticed that multiple schools that you and I go to, you're always checking out their nutrition, checking out their hydration. And more than ever right now with the summer we just had, 100 and good night, who knows how high it really got. But how does your product help? At the high school well, or college level. Well, I play both ways. So I would have to drink pickle juice on the sideline and Man, everything for cramps. Cramp. Yeah, exactly. Because most high school kids aren't getting the right electrolytes, B vitamins, and just in general. And you can't get that from just water. But I didn't like Gatorade. I didn't like Powerade. It was super like syrupy and mm-hmm. sugary, a lot of artificial colors and stuff. So our hydration product has got all of the electrolytes, glucose, and stuff you need to go to your body, magnesium, but it doesn't have any artificial coloring, no artificial sweeteners in it. So it hits you just right, and it stops you from cramping, better performance. And any of the athletes I've given it to, they all like, whatever that is, we want some more of it. So I couldn't have it while I played, so I'm living vicariously <laughs> yeah, by like putting it into as many athletes as possible. Uh, and now we're partnering with gyms as well. Uh, in the area, I just met with a couple of guys from Regiment Fitness to to see how we could um, so how, see how we can work together to to co- cross promote and do weight loss challenges and potentially have some hydration and some post workout recovery for them. Now you and Taya could live anywhere from Croatia, anywhere in the United States, anywhere mm-hmm. you want to go. You choose Monroe, Louisiana. Man, Why? Because <laughs> my mom would kill me <laughs> if I moved anywhere else. And mom ain't going nowhere. No, um, home. I, they, people say home is where your stuff is, but like my people's here, and I always was like, if you going people feel like they got to move other places to make something happen. Right. And if you're a turd here, you're gonna be a turd in Houston. So like, yeah, if I go anywhere else, it's gonna be like, I, I'm I'm visiting. But home is always home. Is home. I, I like to visit. If I want to, I love to travel. You see me, I'm, in, yep. I'm going to yep. Portugal uh, next year. I can go all these other places. I'm going to still have my Monroe address, you know, because I want to build some legacy here. And he love has it. done just that. Got a brand new baby girl. Talk about me. Brand yeah, new brand new parent, man. Uh, my dad said I'm still on the hook for a boy. <laughs> so uh, we not done. But now I'm so everybody keeps talking about, you know, like, oh, you don't understand when you got hated here. that. you'll get it when you have one. I, I look, it took me a little while. It was, you know, I was like, I got a daughter now, but I was like looking at her one day and I was like, damn, she got me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, it's a little me. But uh, I was driving here and it's like, what's that next thing? Because you're driven by like different things at different stages in life. You want stuff and then you want property. And then it's like, now nah, I just want to set up something for the people that come after me. That's right. The next stage. So yeah, I'm, I'm leaving the heritage. For, yeah. Heritage, right? Yeah. Exactly. And each generation, my mom, my great grandmother, which I was grateful enough to grow up with her in Monroe, like she, my great grandmother sacrificed clean hotels so my grandmother could, you know, go to right. college. Right. And my grandmother, you know, did the same thing for my mom. Now my mom's a nurse and RN. She, maybe she would have been a doctor if she didn't sacrifice for me. Right. So now it's like I get, I had all the opportunities to provide even more. So now it's like I got to. Maybe I have a grand slam, slam champion surgeon because, you know, the Mrs. played tennis in college, you know, oh, so we got, okay. got steady we, hands. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, we do a little eugenics thing. We breeding the next level athlete. So right, it's, right. it's pretty cool. I'm excited about it. So uh, what what is that? Talking about the future. What, where do you see yourself? What's the goal for the next three to five years? So three to five years, like we've had crazy growth with our nutrition clubs, with our Herbalife business. But it comes in like waves. So now it's like, what's the next iteration? Well, the next iteration is combining nutrition with healthy, active lifestyle. So that's why we, when Regiment Fitness came by today, they, they have a great gym in town. I'm like, yeah, let's partner up. Uh, now we, they made it legal. So now we can have our products and we can work with gyms in town. So I see us focusing on 
more healthy, active lifestyle in Louisiana. Louisiana and Mississippi are one of the fattest states in the country. I said it. I said the F word. Mm. And especially in the black community, because it's like, that's what we eat. I love eating. People think I, you know, all you do is drink shakes. Now, I love Popeyes, but I ain't living off of it. Right. It's all in moderation. So we can create a community that destigmatizes and like takes the, oh, you eat net healthy stuff. And we can make it more accessible for people to get nutrition, but also work out. And you ain't got to go to kill yourself in the gym. Right. Just walk around the block. We're going we're gonna to build things and make that trendy. We do 21 day weight loss challenges right now. We partner with other groups. We're gonna keep that. We're gonna keep growing that in this area. That's All right. Cool. Let's talk a little bit about uh, other clubs. Um, mm-hmm. Other clubs have come in, and I don't want to bash anybody. I'm just saying there's a difference. And how do you tell the difference? How how would you tell a consumer to tell the difference? So they, they say imitation is the greatest form of flattery. And there's clubs here that's not uh, in my organization, but they have Herbalife products. And, you know, that's it's all love. Once once again, if they do well. They help them soften the market. Right. There's also knockoff products that, like, it's a reason why me and you can't go out and say, you know what, let's make an iPhone. You, you could try. You can't make an iPhone. Right. You can't go out and, and have, a you know, a, um, a $10 billion nutrition company's ways and means and product production that they have. So, like, it's just not the same. You These companies that they're using, third party, they're not independently tested for banned substances. They don't even know where their, their raw ingredients come from. I don't have that problem. I know if it's what Herbalife says is in the product, is actually that's in, the, in is, that's what's in the product, right? That's why they have the uh, Surgeon General that's on their board. They have uh, former Nobel Prize winners that's sitting on our board to make sure that it's all science back and it's, and it's clean and it's good. So I have people come by and they'll be like, I went to this place and it wasn't the same. I don't bash people. It's like, I don't know about that. What I do know is what you're getting right here is you're getting great nutrition. It's all pure. It's all, you know, where it comes from and what we say is in it is actually in it. Right. So take the Pepsi challenge <laughs> and you get what you pay for, baby. And sometimes like oh, a $5 tea. It's the reason why that tea is $5. Right. Gotcha. Okay. I mean, it's either that or you still going to have two two fifty Coke. So yeah. you know, at least you can get some nutrition out so, of it. Salt and sugar is cheap. Right. Right. Like our so people most companies take time spending ideas on how can they take the nutrition out of the food because it creates more profit margin. Whereas Herbalife's sole purpose is how can they take better nutrition to the world. Right. And multiple like I, I got friends in India now because I go to these events. A lot of the distributors in India are all doctors because they treat themselves instead of prescribing something, they use herbs, vitamins, minerals. So they use Herbalife almost like a medicine. So like, hey, you need to lose 20 pounds. So I'm going to prescribe you having this meal replacement shake, walk and drink my water, that type of stuff. Yeah. 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 You see most uh, major medical issues are just some deficiency of some vitamin. Bro. What causes it? So uh, the, the head of our nutrition advisory, they have an Herbalife nutrition advisory board. He actually is Dr. David Hebert. Uh, he runs UCLA's Center for Human Re- uh, Development. And he actually was about to run the world's largest research and development center over obesity. It's actually located in the state of Louisiana. Nice. And he has a YouTube channel. Y'all follow him, Dr. David Heber, on um, Instagram. He puts out these little snippets, all science back. But he said that if we could help people with, if you solve the obesity crisis, you also solve like the, the health crisis right. that's going on right now. It's crazy. All and connected. All connected. He turned down that job, by the way, because he wanted to keep working with us. Nice. That is nice. Good people to have in your corner. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, your, your parting shots. What are your final words for folks that may be tuned in today? Hey, man, um, don't judge us by our cover. I know, like, uh, right now we're, we're educating people because a lot of people don't know what the difference is between these colorful things. They see the colorful things and they think it's all the same. It's not the color. It's what's actually in it and it's what's behind it. Uh, come by. Talk to a knowledgeable Herbalife distributor. Just come by Fit for Life, man. Sit down with us and let's let's chop it up. I like to get to know you. For everybody that's been helping us keep our lights on for the last uh, seven years, I've been ten years as a distributor. I'm grateful for each and every one of you. We ain't going anywhere, and I'm just grateful to be here to add right. value. Small business stories. Any final words? Appreciate your time. Pleasure meeting you. Desmond Light. I'm going to follow you after this to go get some. Yeah. My, my God. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Herbalife and, uh, of course, Fit for Life and Lighten Up. So yeah, that's right. For Quentin, 20, I'm Mike. 2399 Ferran. Y'all come see us. That's right. <laughs> that's it. Not Yeah, that's exactly the address on Ferran. So yeah. this is Small Business Stories. We appreciate you guys tuning in today. Thank you all.